Now, if you have a three, a four, or perhaps even a five iron in the bag, then I wanna make sure that you're generating enough club head speed to make sure you're getting the type of performance you need to out of long, those long irons in your bag. And if you're not generating enough club head speed, then you seriously need to consider ditching the three, the four iron, and like I said, perhaps even that five iron from your bag. You see, the stronger those lofts become in our bag, then the more help we need with club head speed in our ability to get that ball airborne, launch the ball. And if we take it to the extreme, if you consider that the driver is the strongest loft in club in the bag, it's also the biggest head and the biggest profile. So CG can go way back. And then we've got plenty of assistance helping us get that ball airborne with the strong loft. The problem is with the iron, you haven't got that kind of profile and therefore CG is not helping you and you still need that club head speed. So if we adopt that same principle in terms of CG placement that we find in the driver, then surely in the long end of the bag in our sort of long irons, then really we need to be looking at a bigger head profile, a club that will allow us to shift that CG back, something that will help us in terms of those slower swing speeds, get that ball airborne. And I've got two options in today's video, which in my book are pretty much no brainers. And that was one of them. So that second club I've hit is from Callaway. Took that one just a little bit down the left, but a real good ball fight, which is something I'm really keen on focusing on in today's video. The first club I used was from Ping. It was a G430. This is from the Paradigm lineup. They're very similar in what they are, but also they're very different in the type of performance that they give. And perhaps what you're looking for in this long end of the bag is really going to determine which one is for you. And even in those first two shots played there off the tee, they were very different in terms of ball flight, very different in terms of distance carried as well. And uh, there's also another notable difference between these two clubs, which I will reveal very shortly. But first of all, let's just take a look at both of these because they're of the new lineups, like I said, Paradigm and G430. As you can see, both really different in the way they look, particularly at that address position, which is the all important bit, I guess. The crown on the G430 is matte, the crown on the Paradigm is gloss. That's the first huge separator. But then there's the change in the paradigm in terms of its shaping and profile from what Callaway have traditionally done. And I like this kind of almost like a fairway wood, a mini fairway wood is what they've put together in terms of its profile. But that uh, G430 on the other hand is just classic ping in their G lineup. Really user friendly type of club. You seem to see a lot more loft at address with the G430, even though in their standard setup at least, there's two degrees separating them. They look so, so different. And that G430 just gives me a lot more confidence in terms of my feeling at least, mindset that that ball is gonna pop itself up in the air. Some real key differences here, which we're gonna to get to very shortly. Now there's clearly some big difference in terms of the way the two clubs look aesthetically, but um, you've heard my opinion. I'd be really interested in yours in the comments. Right, we've got a good position off. What is a short par four? Great backdrop. Can we get a ball close? If we've got the distance right, we're right on line. Oh no, go on. I oh, will take that. So I am going to film out here at La Hacienda Golf Links. I'm down in sort of southern Spain, Sota Grande area. I'll show you plenty of this course over the next few days when we're going to do a whole lot of club testing and a lot of videos similar to this in terms of a head to head. So what I've done, these standard lofts come in a five hybrid at 26 degrees on a G430. And there's no number on the hybrids that I've got from the Paradigms. They come in a, in a loft and it's a 24 degree, which I've got, which is the closest. One's been knocked down a degree, one's been increased by a degree. So in theory, we've got very, very similar setups at 25 degrees. But that's one key feature that I really like about both of these. And that's the ability to adjust the lofts. Not every hybrid you find that in, and it's key at this end of the game in particular, because if you're looking to cover a yardage in your bag, then to be able to make those adjustments in terms of loft is key to finding that gap. Right, let's tee it up on this next. We're at the 10th hole, 11th hole. We've got some bunkers we're gonna aim at, which are 200 yards away in theory. 
both of these travel around 180 to 190 yards. Right, so we've got it two tee shots off the 11th. The line is that bunker you can see, which is slightly left of center. I've got it at 199 meters, so I know I can't reach it. So what I want right now is plenty of confidence at address. The first thing I'm getting confidence from is the fact that the club head is not too far from my hands due to that short shaft. Then from a visual perspective, I'm seeing plenty of loft on both of these clubs. My own preference is that G430. I love the sort of score lines, the white score lines on the face, and then there's a void in the center. It really frames the ball really well at address. So I've got confidence that I can hit what is effectively, I think gonna be a 180, 185 tee shot with plenty of control, plenty of confidence. And as you can see, both of the balls are hit really well. There is a real difference in terms of the ball flight though. And this is one of the big differences. Loft is the same, ball flight is completely different. In pretty much most shots that I've seen that I've played with both of these tee shots, there's a more penetrating ball flight off the paradigm and a much higher lofted ball comes off that G430. So that's off the tee. Hybrids are very versatile, don't forget, as are long irons, I suppose. We're gonna to need to see what these are from the fairway. And then finally, we'll try and play both of these from the rough. Now, what I didn't realize was the next shot that we were gonna face was absolutely perfect for playing from the fairway. That green is literally sat on the horizon. Absolutely stunning golf hole number 11. When you come over this brow, we've kicked the ball forward a little bit because we've left ourselves 190 in downhill. I'm gonna play from a tightly on the fairway and see how it fares. And yet again, what would I rather be playing from this position? A lofted hybrid or a long iron? They're the decisions that you'd have to make in these kind of situations in how your bag is set up. And again, for me personally, and we'll see very shortly, is I would prefer to see that hybrid. Let's see if that rings true and can we get any balls on the green or certainly down there near it. Well, I could go in. Ah. First thing of interest is the pitch marks are almost identical. Um, that is where we're going. It's an incredibly good golf hole and you can see one ball is uh, very close to the flag. That's the one I got excited about. I couldn't quite see the, uh, the first ball, which was in fact the ping, and it's just gone over the brow and uh, was at the back side of the green. First thing to note is it was downhill, maybe a bit down breeze, and we certainly easy covered that yardage in terms of 195 into this flag. Um, but the interesting bit for me was the ball flight and how they differed. Um, I got the ping very much off the bottom grooves. Ball flight was lower. And on this occasion, the Paradigm was the club that popped the ball up in the air. But I go back to that initial question, what would I rather have been playing? A long iron or a hybrid in hand? And I think on uh, both shots, they performed incredibly well in terms of carry to the green. One stopped, the other one didn't, that's by the by. The point is, they were both very easy, very playable, and even off the bottom grooves, that ping G430 still had enough forgiveness to get me here. Right, before we go any further, I did say I'll play a shot out of the rough and just see how versatile these clubs are in terms of, uh, well, like I say, playing from a number of positions. We might even play a little dink and run around the greens and further explore their versatility. But before I do that, I just wanna look at dry ball data because uh, earlier on, in the week, I was at a much colder Hollywell Golf Club. We were indoors and I collected some data. And just have a quick glance over this, because this is where there's a real sort of separator in what they did over a 10 shot average. The main point being for me is that launch angle. And although the last shot contradicted it a little because of, like I said, it's in off the bottom grooves of that G430, in the main on an average from what I was getting, then the ball flight on the G430 is far higher than that of the, uh, or the launch angle far steeper than that of the Paradigm. And that is one of the key differences. The Paradigm face seems extremely hot and a more penetrating ball flight. And don't forget the lofts are the same. The club profile is similar as well. So that CG placement I thought about should be in a similar place. But I feel like Paradigm as a range is focusing on more on ball speed. And they seem as though they travel a great distance. And as you can see, 
their lower launch coupled with a spin number that's quite high actually but that carry distance of 186 on average was a longer carry than that the g430 but that ball flight that launch angle at 22 degrees is significantly different off that g430 so they do very different things in terms of their performance and i'm looking down i've stopped at a hole here we're playing 187 to a wonderful par three which is a 12 fold this is the first morning of me discovering la hacienda golf course and uh, i can't go by and not play two hybrids into this green that's next before we get to that uh, playing from the rough i think right so two tee shots first one being a g430 really nice strike really nice ball flight and very similar to what i'd seen from that dry ball date so thank god that backed it up this time um Second shot with that paradigm, again, just that, it's just hotter. And I'll talk about the sound very shortly, but it's got a very different sound as well. Was the flatter ball flight just down the left-hand side, pitched on the green and bounced into the bunker left. Really happy with both shots. The one thing you're gonna look at now is just the pitch mark and where the G430 came to rest, which is the other key bit for me. It's, um, they're coming down at such a steep angle in terms of that descent angle, that even though you're coming from an elevated position, the ball flight and the way they're coming in it just means they're stopping very very quickly uh, on what are still obviously very firm greens out here at la hacienda so for me that's another real benefit of that steep high launching steep descent angle spin number combined that ball is stopping on green so another real positive for these hybrids Right, so we pitched up in the rough, but the first thing to mention is just how good is this golf course? This is the first morning that I am seeing it. I'm super impressed, but it's got some demands here game and we've pitched up sort of 195 in. We're in the rough, it's not heavy rough, but it's, uh, trust me, it takes some getting through and uh, we've got all carry, so there's no um, excuses here. We've got to hit the green. We pitch up with a G430, first of all. It does exactly what I'd hope it would do, and that is gets that ball out the rough, first of all, pitches it up with a good ball flight, gets that carry distance, very consistent, again, in what I have seen in terms of that launch angle. Uh, you then switch up into that paradigm, and it's done what I was seeing in terms of dry ball data. It's just more of a penetrating ball flight. Probably travels again, perhaps a little bit further but no great difference and as you can see from where these two balls have finished up I'd be more than happy to be honest with you the ping g430 was pin high just left of the flag and uh, although I pitched in the center of the green there's a huge slope that took the paradigm ball off to the right hand side but both in terms of distance traveled very very similar which is what we've seen in dry ball data but how they get there is very very different as well which is something I keep on saying um, but yeah, I mean, I can't stress enough just how different these clubs, they sound, how they feel, and their ball flight makes them, uh, well, like I said, very different. Right, last shot of the video, I assure you, and we're going to see if we can demonstrate the versatility of these hybrids even further. Uh, we've pitched up in a ridiculous position in terms of we've got a big brow to carry over the slope down to the flag, but uh, I just think a hybrid is so good for this type of shot and again, just demonstrate his versatility, hopefully. That's just got to get up to the top of the brow, and then trust me, it's like a ski slope over the other side. Well, Paradigm, the, the challenge has been set because that's going to take some beating. And the question is, and every time I play these shots with a, um, with a hybrid, is could I have got closer with my wedge? The answer is 100% no. I'd have probably bladed it through the back, but I certainly wouldn't have got it to what looks like almost a gimme range. Right, Paradigm, can you get any closer? Well, I've got that a bit heavy. I'm gonna give it another go. That's unfair on Paradigm. Have we got a ball camera woman? Look at that, perfect. Now Paradigm, that was a little unfair because I stubbed the ground a bit. So let's see if we can do any better second time round. That's a lot better. Could be just a little bit too quick. It's up to the brow. It's making its way down. It's all sideways at the end, and there's not a lot to split them to in the end, but yet again, just goes to show the versatility of a hybrid. And uh, the question I would ask myself, am I playing my three, four, or five iron from that position? And the answer is 100% no. So in conclusion, Paradigm or G430, well, I think that's a decision you will make because it'll be very much dependent on what you're looking for, for in terms of covering the yardage in your bag, in terms of what kind of ball flight you want, 
uh, in terms of aesthetics, particularly at a dress, and then in terms of sound and feel, because on each of those parameters, these clubs are very, very different. The loft is the same, and that's where it stops, to be quite honest with you. They do get the ball in terms of covering a similar yardage in a similar way, but as I've said in this video, they get there very, very differently. So they're all the things that you're gonna to have to decide. But I started this video about suggesting you ditch long irons out of your bag. And that is really still the message from my perspective. There's been a change in mentality from a lot of you golfers, from the comments that I read in this last year, um, sort of lofted fairway woods, lofted hybrids. The stigma is being dropped significantly and um, rightly so, because these are clubs that can help you play the game uh, a little bit easier. They're not gonna carry 200 yards every time and be perfect as you've seen here this morning, but it's an element of the game that's really tough and these make it, or well, they give you some assistance, let's put it that way. Right, that's me done. Um, this is my first morning out here at La Hacienda Golf Club and I've got to say I'm hugely impressed with this as well. We're only on the 13th hole and what I've seen so far, it's been superb. Plenty more videos being filmed over the next few days out here. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. We've got 20 degrees coming in the afternoon. So this jump will be coming off and I've got, uh, like I said, a lot more to be filmed and coming your way. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of this one and I'll see you tomorrow night.